Well, 5G cell phone service has finally come to town and it's causing all kinds of interference on the TV channels on my C-band satellite dish. I didn't have any problems with the signal before this, so I guess it's time to change out this LNB and put a new one in that has a built-in 5G filter. In North America, part of the C-band TV frequency spectrum has been reallocated for 5G cell phone service. And even though there is a buffer or guard band between the two services, the low power C-band satellite signals are no match for powerful 5G signals. And this is why it's necessary to use an LNB with a built-in filter if you live in an area with 5G service. This is similar to, but not exactly the same as 5G frequencies interfering with over the air TV channels received with an antenna, except that those 5G signals are on a different set of frequencies that happen to sit right beside part of the UHF TV band. And the solution there is to install an inline filter between your antenna and TV to block out those signals. With C-band satellite, the filtering of 5G frequencies must take place in the LNB before those satellite signals have been down converted to something more suitable for traveling through coax cable. With that 5G tower less than half a block away, this is what all the channels look like. Major pixelation, they're totally unwatchable. This was not a problem before 5G came to town. And you can see that quality meter on the right side of the screen is bouncing up and down. I can't even lock a transponder. So it's definitely time to change the LNB and put one in that has a built-in 5G filter. Here's a look at the LNB that I'm going to be installing today. It's made by Titanium Satellite. This is a dual output model, meaning you can connect two separate receivers to this, have two receivers in two rooms, no problem. There is also the 5G filter built into this, so that'll take care of all the interference and glitching from those 5G signals. And this is a really simple install. You install it on your dish, you connect the coax cable, and you're back in business. There's no worrying about polarity switching or extra wires to add to switch between the vertical and horizontal polarity channels. All of that happens electronically nowadays between the receiver and the LNB. So this is a really simple install. This should only take a few minutes. Now, before you do any work on your satellite TV system, it's very important to disconnect your receiver from the power source. With satellite TV, there is voltage running through the coax cable back and forth between your receiver and the LNB. And if you start disconnecting switches or cables with voltage on that line, you run the risk of a short and possibly damaging your equipment. Now with the power disconnected, I can go ahead and disconnect this coax cable and then remove the old LNB. It's held in the scalar ring with three bolts. The scalar ring is this metal plate that holds the LNB to the dish. And putting the new one in, the process is reversed. Connect the cable and then fit the LNB in the scalar ring. And of course, there is some adjusting that's going to be needed in order to fine tune this LNB and make sure that it is locked on the focal point of the dish. There are index marks on the outside of the LNB that can be used not only to set the mounting depth, but also to make sure that your LNB is mounted evenly and squarely to your satellite dish. It's very important to have the LNB facing the focal point of the dish head on. The focal point is the spot on the dish where your satellite signal is most concentrated. Once you get the LNB facing square to the dish, you also want to make sure that the mounting depth is set properly. So move the LNB in and out and adjust it so that it's letting in maximum signal. Something else to pay attention to is the skew or rotational angle of the LNB. There's a scale on the back of the LNB for this, 0 and 30 and 30 degrees on either side. And if you listen, you can hear my satellite meter tone will change. It's going to get higher as I rotate this LNB skew to let in maximum signal. And once I finally got off the ladder and out of the way of the satellite signal, the quality level rose even higher. I really wanted to confirm that 5G interference was indeed the problem before I jumped to that conclusion. So keeping everything else equal, the dish in the exact same position, I swapped out the LNB again. 
What I used was a brand new LMB that was identical to the original one I had in there, the one without the 5G filter. And sure enough, when I put that in there, the pixelation came back, couldn't lock any transponders. The picture was a total mess, as you can see here, major pixelation. So I decided that 5G interference has to be the problem here. As soon as I put the titanium LNB with the 5G filter back in place, the picture cleared up and the signal was strong again, no problems. For all the discussion online about 5G interference on TV antennas and C-band satellite, it seems that for the average viewer, there's not a lot of information out there for them to easily confirm whether or not 5G interference is the problem. If you do an image search about what 5G interference looks like on a TV screen, you might find one or two pictures max. So it seems like the only real solution in most cases, if you don't have a bunch of specialized equipment, is through trial and error. You gotta look at the factors that surround your situation. In my case, I had a 5G tower very close to my location and nothing else changed. So swapping out the LNB with a one with a 5G filter cleared up the problem. The only way to test this is to try. So if you have a TV antenna and you're having some strange interference on certain channels, you might want to try putting a 5G filter in line with your TV antenna to see if it clears up the problem. And on satellite, same thing. If you're having a situation similar to mine, you might want to swap out that LNB with one with a built-in 5G filter and see if it clears up the problem.